what makes them laugh. Because if we do, then we are reminded of how similar we are in the midst of our differences. And we are better able to imagine ourselves in the same situation as those in need. We cannot measure our humanity, but we can act on it. Our humanity is that glowing center in all of us. It is what makes us speak up about an injustice, even when that injustice does not personally affect us. It is what makes us aware that we are better off if our fellow human beings are better off. It is what made Emmanuel, in his cramped home full of relatives, still open his door to my parents and say, we will make room for you. I am not making the simplistic suggestion that all borders must be completely open, because that is impractical. There might not be enough room for everyone, but there is certainly room to do more. There is room to honor more commitments, room to bridge the divide between what has been promised and what has been accomplished. Emmanuel could have said no to my parents, and he would have had understandable reasons for saying no, but he chose to say yes. And his reason for saying yes was his humanity. We can create room for people. And today, in this world that has been scarred by so much suffering, creating room for people is not only doable, it is a moral imperative. It is the moral imperative of our time. And I would like to end with some words from the poet Samuel Coleridge. Walk without hope draws nectar in a sieve, and hope without an object cannot live. Thank you.